Hello and welcome to Fresh Face One Shots. My name is Joey. And my name's Jacob, and we're here for a very special episode. Yeah, uh, of Fresh yeah, Face One Shots. Episode. Yeah, um, this is uh, obviously not part of our usual schedule for fr- Fresh Face One Shots. Um, we have a certain episode coming out of the main podcast. Um, this is, think of this as a. Oddly enough, a tie-in to an event. Yes. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, totally. Because I, I so I, I was actually talking to you before we did this that I was like, I wish we kind of had the one-shot format back when we did Death of the Family, um, where we also covered Detective Comics number one in that, because uh, you know to see how Joker got his face cut off and all that before the actual comic. Um, and I was like, you know, I wish we had done that. And so here we actually have the opportunity to do that because we have this format now. So um, our next episode of Fresh Face Comics, the main podcast, is going. we're going to cover uh, the next uh, couple arcs of Tom King's Batman, one of which is The Button, which car- crosses over with The Flash. And I think this is a very uh, pertinent issue to uh, to cover before that. Uh, this is DC Universe Rebirth, number one, uh, the the one shot that kicked off the, uh, the entire um, semi-reboot of the DC Universe. It's not a reboot, really, but it was... It was, a, it was a it was a big number one resetting and uh, number yeah, one it, resetting fully committing to restoring a lot of pre-crisis st- or no pre uh flashpoint stuff not pre-crisis stuff mm-hmm. though i think some pre-crisis stuff also got re- dc started to shift to let's just make everything canon let's yeah, let's well, be crazy to, to, to be fair that was definitely happening before this with uh convergence um yes so but this I, is I, the I, i'd argue that this is the one of the big pushes of well here's the thing making Con- that <laughs> convergence no. convergence was a spin-off event of a spin-off comic of earth 2 um so i here's the thing it, it was a big event definitely but it wasn't going to grab people's attention as much as a thing like dc universe rebirth number one was going to so this is you're saying it was a book that not a lot of people read i read convergence i loved it i i I thought it was great especially because i loved earth two worlds end um so that was fantastic um but uh but this is definitely a better way of getting people on board i I have to concede to that Um, this is also the one where we're bringing back a a very important we're bringing back a character who got completely and utterly shafted by the new 52 and mm -hmm. sadly erased and but gets brought not back in quite. like the most beautiful way. Oh my god! Yes, it's so good. yeah. I will say, it, look, there's perhaps one thing about this story that I dislike, and it's a thing I just dislike on principle, and that's the bookends. Like, it's. I think you're wrong. But look, here, here's the thing. Look, I, have to, I, have I am realize, of the philosophy. I, have I am to. of the philosophy that Alan Moore's Watchmen does not need to be. It does not need to be brought into the main universe. Uh, here's the thing. Okay, I understand this is a conversation more for the actual podcast episode we have, that we have yet to record, but I think people need to stop treating Watchmen as this fucking sacred, untouchable story. Um, and so I, I'm fine with Doomsday Clock existing, is all I'm trying to say. Um, I don't... See, here's the interesting thing, because when we talk about the button, I have... I have other thoughts on the button, kind of similar to this, where I have, great. like... Yeah, well, it, it is half good. of it's well, great. It, half it's, of it's great, because you, when we're recording you, you, this, you, you, I have you, only you, read you, half of it. Oh, okay, I was going to say, I, I was like, if you say only half of it's great in general, I think most people would agree, it would disagree with you, actually. Um, I, I have but, only read uh, the first half of it, so I, 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 I'm not going to say it's all great, because I genuinely don't know. It could turn <laughs> terrible in the last two issues, based I, on the fact that, that this is Tom King and Joshua Williamson. I don't think it's going to. Mm-hmm. You, have read, one, you have read one Williams issue of that, and I do love that first one. Um, yes. Really. Actually, actually um, the first time King one is fantastic as well. That's what we're not what we're talking about. Let's actually get into this. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah, let's get into this. There's also yeah. some... So, I don't... I. Okay. Some of this narration is definitely meant to be Wally West. The majority of it is. It. I mean, at all the of end, it, 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 any, anything that's in yellow box with a red outline that's wally west yeah because it then technically shifts in the epilogue yeah yeah but but um, yes it's it's fantastic there's also Je- this is by jeff this is written by jeff johns with multiple jeff johns cha- yeah multiple chapters then drawn by different people um drawn by different people this first one um being mostly by yeah, the wonderful gary frank 
Mm-hmm. Uh, well, uh, with... and, and Ben Skyver, unfortunately. Um, but... but also, and also, he, fantastic he... Cover, colors by Brad Anderson. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, we focus a lot of this uh, this early bit, uh, this early ch- uh, this first chapter, I should say, on uh, on Wally West. This is importantly pre Flashpoint Wally West, um, the Wally West that everybody loves. Um, sort of finding a way to try to get back into the universe. Um, this is actually a, a direct result of Convergence, which is awesome. Uh, it's nice to get some recognition there for Convergence. We're also, uh, that John's, I think, his, John's is also either teasing or referencing three Jokers. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, teasing, well, so he first teased the idea in Justice League, um, where Batman first, out, first found out about the idea of the three Jokers. Um, and then this is further teasing it this was before Three Jokers as a story became a Black Label story when it was still supposed to be like fully canon. But now Chip Zarsky is making it canon, so isn't making the main the main Three Jokers story canon, but is making the idea of the Three Jokers presented Three Jokers. here a main canon story. So that's lovely. Um, that, that's that's a <laughs> we'll get into it. We'll get into it. We still have two volumes of, of Johnson's Justice League to get through. So <laughs> we do. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway. But uh, yeah, we have uh, Wally West here uh, zapping into the Batcave, uh, sending a message to Bruce, and uh, and then disappearing. And because Bruce to... does not recognize him, because why would he? Yeah, uh, reminds him of the the letter that he got from from his father from the Flashpoint, and uh, uh, and then what I love that Johns does is just in case nobody knows one of Johns's favorite DC characters. <laughs> he gives us his whole backstory. We get Wally West's whole backstory here, um, all the way up to Barry dying and him taking up the mantle. And it's it's specifically it's specifically it's specifically the the pre what well, also was the pre crisis backstory for Wally. Yeah, um, yep. like fan of uh, uh, cousin of Iris West meets Barry, then meets Barry as the Flash, not knowing it's the Flash, and then. And then get struck by lightning, and then make, and then, you know, then we see also the old Teen Titans there with the uh, Aqualad. So, somehow, and accidentally gets struck by lightning and doused with the same chemicals that Barry Allen gets doused, which obviously Johns would be responsible for retconning as the Speed Force. But like, yeah. then we do also I, at least reference we... Infinite Earth, which is awesome. We see. Oh, I mean, Barry that's Allen. that's that's Wally becoming the Flash, and yeah, yeah. Let's be honest. Well, I don't want to say that entirely. Is one of the reasons Wally is so well regarded because he oh, had this I, yeah. very long and, as far based on at least some of the writers on the run on on the on the series as a whole, very one long of, time as one, the Flash. One of which is Jeff Johns. Um, one of which is Jeff Johns. One of which is Mark Wade. Yep. I think Grant Morrison did something at some point. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, um, yeah, well, 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 while he got passed around. Um, yeah, mean, um, he, he, we, he was the main Flash for close to two de- close to two decades, really. Like I think maybe even more, yeah, based on it, when it, it, Flash it, it, Rebirth was yeah, published. It was uh, yeah, it was nearly three decades. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, uh, but yeah, we recap uh, uh, Barry coming back, we recap the Flashpoint, and thus the erasing of the old Wally West. Or not really erasing, but he's kind of been stuck in the Speed Force. As we In terms did. of publishing, he was erased. Yeah. This being stuck in the Speed Force is t- technically a retcon. Yeah. Um, as we sort of end out Chapter 1, bringing us into Chapter 2, which is solely drawn by Gary Frank, uh, which is awesome. Yes. Um, um, yeah. Also, hi Jeff Johns. I see you like the Justice Society. <laughs> Can you tell? He still has a few issues left, apparently, of JSA to write. Which I still have been coming out for almost two years now. I think that sounds about right. It's been so long. I'm still getting it. I'm still collecting it. I don't know why. I, I can't remember, enough I can't that remember. they are. It's, it's been long enough that DC is rebooting the book with a different creative team <laughs> yeah. while still publishing. Yeah. He's still intending to publish um, to whatever the end of John's stuff is, whenever the man gets it done. Yeah, um, yeah. Here's the thing. He's not doing anything else. He's not fucking busy. Like, he's not... <laughs> it's so weird. Um, but yeah, anyway, yeah, JSA shit. <laughs> yeah, it's great. While he tried to... Trying a to character called Mr. Thunder. Um... Which yeah, is trying to talk to him. That is, uh, this scene is specifically feels like set up for the button. Now that I'm about halfway through it, yeah. uh, but then we get some stuff. First, uh, 
first in uh, first in Metropolis, dealing with someone who's trying to speak with Superman. Mm -hmm. uh, but Superman is currently missing. Uh, mm -hmm. You have to get a little Legion of Superheroes tease there, which is nice. Um, is so nice. So so <laughs> nice. Give, um, um, we then also get some Adam, some Adam yeah. stuff. Yeah. The Adam was not a I mean, as you're well aware, was not a big character am... in the New 52. Um, at least none of the Adams that uh, the the public would be familiar with. Um, uh... I believe Ryan. Sh I believe Ryan Choi. This this character who was either what was introduced. Was, is this his first appearance or? I I I, I maybe I forget actually. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'll, I'll look it up right now. Uh, <laughs> first appearance. Um... No, no, no. He uh, he he premiered in 06. Um, oh, so, oh yeah. So so he gets this might this might however no 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 he had definitely appeared before in the 52 I think. Um, but yeah no. Uh, so he, we see him working closely with uh, Ray Palmer here, who has uh, miniaturized and gone subatomic pretty much, and so he needs Ryan Choi to find him. Um, and uh, uh, we also get a great scene uh, with um, Ted Cord and Jaime Reyes doing Blue Beetle stuff together. Actually, actually, to, to I, I honestly, because Jaime Reyes is the Blue Beetle. I find I feel like is I don't want to say is eclipsing Ted Cord in terms of popularity. Well, he he definitely is first off, but also I the New Fifty Two had a weird relationship with Blue Beetle, where like Jaime Reyes like always was the main Blue Beetle. In it. Um, I, I mean, the, weird. the New Fifty Two did that with a bunch of characters, and yeah, in some weird ways. Like, I know they were very inconsistent on whether the Titans existed before the first Titans New Fifty Two book. Well, yeah, because it was uh, always it was always the problem with the New Fifty Two of like not actually deciding what came what from before was still canon. Like, apparently Nightfall was somehow still canon because um, Batman still got his back broken at some point, and apparently Morrison's Batman was still canon because Dick Grayson was was Batman at one point. Um, but but oh. then, like it, it, it's so weird. But you know, again, all in six years, apparently, <laughs> um, fucking wild. Uh, there's something else I wanted to bring up. What was it? I don't know. Um, Ah, is it is it is it the very interesting relationship between Ted and Jaime and Ted? Well, yeah, there's that. Yeah, kind of being a bastard. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll help you get this scarab off your back. I'm not going to manipulate it all into using it as superpowers because I'm a scientist <laughs> and super curious to know how this works. Mm -hmm. I mean, kind of relatable. Also, Doctor Fate briefly. Doctor um, Fate, please. Uh, we've got a. Um... Uh, a, uh, a a little Damian Wayne tease. We got Jessica Jessica, Jessica Cruz tease. Um, uh, some Jackson Hyde stuff. Uh, Jackson you know, Hyde, yeah. who would be what a very a very new character at this point. Like yeah yeah definitely. Um, he was wasn't he was he created for Young Justice the show or was he? Highly, I forget the order of events with that honestly. Um, and hi Pandora. Pandora and, hi, Pandora and farewell Pandora from existence literally. <laughs> Um, <laughs> you know, I feel kind of bad because, like, I'm sure you fucking cheered, my guy. <laughs> I, no, I genuinely feel kind of bad because I feel like Pandora as a character, like one of the problems that I had with Trinity War was that Pandora as a character has potential. Yeah, she does. Yeah, they just and didn't then, do shit. And then she very clearly gets destroyed by massive spoilers. But also, this comic is good god eight years old. Doctor Manhattan. Um, <laughs> oh hi, Doctor Manhattan. I, I, do, I do appreciate it. Look, it. look at even the way it's drawn. I, I like the way the tease is done. If nothing else, all the clues are definitely there. Um, I mean, we open on a, we open this issue on a Watchmen Dave Gibbons nine panel grid. Yeah, like, yeah, definitely. Um, looking at a watch, no less. Um, but yeah, um, ending chapter two, bringing us into chapter three, uh, which is drawn by Ivan fucking Reese. Gotta Ivan love Reese. that. My God, you gotta love that. Um, yeah, uh, we get some. Uh... <laughs> okay, look. The, can I say at one point the plan was to have finished Johns' Justice League at the time we got to this issue? Um, so there are some things that are definitely going over your head from Dark Side War things here. Um, but this is a character that. who appear, who did appear recently, I think. Isn't this the character, same it, character yes, who appeared yeah, from, in from Kings? Wonder Woman. Yeah, from Kings. Yeah, Wonder Woman. Yep. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So, it's, sorry about that. This is definitely I a, mean, a Jeff Johns Justice League thing. I I, I can't. I mean. 
it's kind of my fault. I am kind of responsible for you having to rearrange no, things. No, 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 not really, not really. I, oh, I this wasn't this, this was the result this, of me this was, asking this for was, that. Okay, it was partially that, but it was also I think it was mostly a scheduling mistake on mine. So um, ah yeah yeah I mean yeah yeah because yeah. I know you like. Yeah. I, I had to I change mean. so I have to change so much. It's all right. It's fine. It, it, it's this pod the podcast we do is a learning curve, um, as is this spinoff apparently. Um, but yeah, um, we uh, we start uh, looking at. I do, I do like the pondering here that we get of, of Wally West like looking in on people's lives that like he knew before the Flashpoint. Um, we get you know the Oliver Queen and and, uh, and and Black Canary like romance here being teased. Um, people that should be together that aren't. Um, we get a look at the super, the pre-Flashpoint Superman that came over to our universe. Um, Hi, John. Hi, baby John. Look at sure. baby John. Uh, look at him go back there. Um, it's great. I love it. Um, we also get... I, I'm pretty... Yeah, this is definitely the, the, the first appearance of, um, of, uh, of Mr. Oz. Um, who's a character? <laughs> mm, I don't know if you know who that is. Do you? Look at Dr. Manhattan. Is this secretly Doctor Manhattan? No, because he no. looks. This is no. This is, this is this is a far stupider thing that that. Really oh, this is a dumber idea. idea. Okay. Yeah, this is a, this is a this is a really dumb. This is unfortunately a Peter J. Tomasi um uh the thing, and I just I, I'm I'm sad about it. But I was gonna say, is this? I was gonna say, is this an opportunity for me to be like, hey, Jeff or Johns? Actually, or, or, or re realistically, I want to say he actually was mostly prominent in action comics, so I think that's actually a Dan Jurgens thing. Um. No, Jurgens, you should be better than this. Yeah, Mr. Oz is a whole thing where everyone should have done better. It's a bunch of talented people coming up with the stupidest idea ever. Um, we'll definitely cover it someday because it's it's insane and and it's part of a much larger fantastic run. Um, anyway, um, we get a really lovely uh, Aquaman Mera scene um, where he proposes to her. I just, I, you know what, this scene actually felt like a little bit to me. Hmm. Just a little bit. I feel like this was Mr. John's high. I think he felt like he needed to apologize for the way his Aquaman run kind of just fell apart at the end. There's that, but also there is the general theme of, of what Rebirth was trying to do as a whole, where it's literally commented on here. Like, it's, it is, it is love coming back into the universe. It is the New 52. Yeah. The, the New 52 was not, not super edgy, but like, you know, was it was definitely... Her. It... The New it... 52, in a way, felt like they saw the Christopher Nolan, well, the first two Christopher Nolan Batman movies. <laughs> and was like, well, we already have this reputation for being dark and edgy for some reason. Hi, the ninth. I think more of that's partially down to the, just the 90s. Um, it would have would have affected both companies had the MCU not, for longer had the MCU not come along and kind of helped lift that up, among other things, in terms of Marvel um, site. Mm -hmm. Well, and the other like popular early 2000s Marvel movies specifically being not quite dark and edgy. Uh, but DC didn't. Mm -hmm. And DC and so got, needs yeah. to. Yeah. And so it, like the narration here is literally seeing everything. I realized it wasn't 10 years that was stolen from us. It was love. Um, beautiful scene. I fucking love it. It's it's followed by a tragic scene oh. yeah yeah because there's a lot of pondering here on uh on wally's lost connection himself with uh with linda um and so we see her here um and wally trying to contact her and her memories don't come back to her and she has no clue who he is and it causes him to disappear to the speed force once again fucking tragic scene i love that very um, very tragic very tragic i think it's also a thing that they only recently were able to fully patch up in the Flash. Yeah, I yeah. I, I, like, I, haven't really, I haven't really kept up on, on a ton of Flash stuff. Um, I, I, I have just heard that Wally fans have been suffering since 2011 in yeah, and, some and, and, way. And as far as I'm aware, I think Jeremy Adams apparently fixed all of that, so good for him. I'm also reading Jeremy Adams', Adams Green Lantern right now, which is, he's doing a fantastic job with that. Um, anyway, uh, bringing us into Chapter 4, uh, uh, drawn by Phil, uh, Phil Jimenez and uh, Gary Frank, which, gotta love that. Um, some, great, oh. re some really great artists on this whole book. Um, and then well, one not really great artist. Yeah, yeah. Um, but hey, let's let's tease some upcoming rebirth things. We literally see Gotham and Gotham Girl, which is yeah. I was like, fun. oh, oh, we're, we're we're okay, cool. So they actually, oh, it's, my brain was like, oh, so they had a plan going into rebirth. They, oh, yeah. they, they fucking 
talked to their at, writers. At, at the very least, they knew what their like early arcs were. Um, so like, off yes. Girl, we get a Justice League Dark tease. We get an early Suicide Squad tease. Um, uh, Dick Grayson becoming Nightwing again. Teen Titans coming back together. Um, really fun stuff. I, I just I really appreciate that. Um, we also see uh, current Wally West, uh, the new Fantastic yeah, Wally West. That is because okay. Let's be honest. The, the New 52 slash, because he is inspired by the Arrowverse version of Wally West. Uh, no. Mm -mm. No? No, uh, New 52 Wally came first. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that. Yep. I was going to say, he got an initial bad rap because of, let's be honest, a bunch of bigots. Yeah, like, oh, definitely. Definitely. Like, <laughs> and, and, and I'll say, I, um, um, what we do get back into New 52 Flash stuff, you're like right on the cusp of him coming into that. Um, uh, I, I honestly, I really like New 52 Wally. I, I, I know he got a lot of hate, um, but I don't know. I, I really love him as a character. I mean, he, he got a lot of hate because he's, you know, he's not white. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's but like, you know, it's, yeah. they were trying something different. I do hope as a character, either way, he hasn't just disappeared. I don't, I don't think he has. I think a lot of Flash writers like to use all the speedsters. Mm -hmm. All the speedsters. Oh, yeah. Uh, because I think to write Flash, you have to be at least a little insane. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I also am very glad that Johns didn't try to write, even though like the two Wallies don't interact at all. Uh, uh, pre Flashpoint Wally doesn't have any animosity towards this kid we're establishing them as yeah. cousins well, as, no, also, as... also yeah also we don't we don't just wipe new 52 wally from the face of the earth um when rebirth started uh wally pre pre flashpoint wally became part of the titans and uh new 52 wally became part of the teen titans led by damien um and that was i remember yeah, that being a really know. fun team that worked that, and that probably works really well at least in theory yeah it, 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 it honestly does yeah yeah um, I, I haven't read all of uh, the early Rebirth Titans, but I did read all of the uh, early Rebirth Teen Titans, uh, and I, I remember really liking uh, New Fifty Two Wally in that. So, and I, um, I and then we actually get to basically the ending, the, the ending before it's, it is. A it's, more the, it's, it's the emotional climax of the book. It is the um, emotional climax, and. It's the best scene in the whole book. Um, it's, it's, yeah, no, we are. It's, it's we started Wally. the new Fifty Two by ripping Wally West and Barry Allen apart and fucking Wally over. So we're because let's be honest, this is the pro. Yes, it technically ended with convergence. This is kind of the proper end of the new Fifty Two. This this book kind of is. It is. Oh, definitely. Uh, it is and, mainly uh, because it's, it's it's the one that everybody's it's the one that everybody's read. Um, yeah. It's uh, it's Wally contacting Barry. It's Barry remembering him. It's it's him the, dragging Wally the, out of the, the Speed Force. Oh, the pa so the pages outside of the Speed Force with like of the eyes, the just yeah. the eyes, the emotion in the eyes. Um, mm -hmm. This is look, I, it's it's Frank I, and Jimenez, I, and they are. Mm. I, I know I know I've been, I know I've bitched a lot on Fresh Face One Shots specifically about uh, a lot of comic moments getting taken out of context for Twitter clicks. Um, but I mean, if there's one panel that I will always love, constantly getting shared around, no matter the context, it is the one when uh, he's pulled out and they're hugging each other and Barry saying, "How could I ever forget you?" Just fucking beautiful, um, gorgeous stuff. I, it 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 doesn't get any better than that. I fucking love it. Um, oh my god. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Um, we, we end with a Batman tease. We end the story prop with chapter with Batman tease of, oh look, a it's button. a button, a button. That's a smiley face with a blood stain. Yep, and then an epilogue look. of, of, of once again a Dave, a classic Dave Gibbons, uh, Doctor Manhattan tease. And uh, yeah, the clock is ticking across the universe. I don't know what the digital version includes. Does it include all the tea stuff at the end? The oh, it does. Clock is ticking. Uh, then it has a, a big splash page of all the heroes together, which I, I still love that rebirth. Art. That's that was fantastic. Um, does it include the the uh, the number one uh, team announcements? It doesn't. But I also um, <laughs> the, the, the I, I bought I bought the digital version of the deluxe edition, so it includes oh. includes some. Uh, it it includes uh, some artwork of a lot of characters, uh, mainly like mainly uh, 
Capullo, Greg Capullo's Batman, uh, Patrick Leeson's Superman, Tony Daniels' Wonder Woman, uh, hmm. Javier Fernandez's Nightwing, Torre Jimenez's Superboy, just a bunch of... Uh, Donna Troy, it's a, a, a lot. Um, gotcha. Very cool. The, 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 new, the new Wally West Flash design, which... It's I not bad. So, I don't hate it. I Look, look. I don't care if it's bad. It makes it a lot easier to tell who Wally is at a glance, okay? That, that's I, true. That's true. I, I, uh, Joey has had me reading comics for three years now, and I... <laughs> and you still don't know the difference. <laughs> I still can't tell the difference. I know there is one. But, like, I... I don't know. It, it's the... I, I don't like to reference which, office which memes. One, which, which one is always inked like he's from the 90s? <laughs> It's in that office meme of they're the same picture. You show me a they picture. Are not the, they are not the same picture, Jacob. Get better. Um, <laughs> anyway, that was DC Universe Rebirth number one. Jacob, I'm very glad you got to read this. Um, yes, I, it, yes. It, it, first, it, first off, uh, I, I, was, I finally uh, pulled it out of my, my comic box from the apparently eight years since I put it in there. Um, my, my physical copy of this when it first came out. Um it just reminded me of, a, of an absolutely insane time in DC Comics when uh, everything was really exciting. Everyone was really jumping on board, and uh, it, was, it was awesome. It was, it was just a really great time it, to be collecting comics. And, uh, it makes yeah. me it makes me excited for us to get to more Rebirth stuff. Like, mm -hmm. obviously, we're doing Batman right now, um, and that's great. There are other. There, 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 are, there, there, are, there are others I need you to get to. Yeah, we'll, we'll, yes. we'll definitely. Yeah, we'll, we'll delve into it. I've got. I, I maybe have a guess or two that I feel like there's a potential for maybe one being a jumping on point at some point for a for a a, a certain character's solo book. But mm -hmm. I can also see you starting me there at uh, that with that character's solo stuff at at the New Fifty Two. Uh, um, who? Uh, Nightwing, actually. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably I'd probably sooner start going Rebirth than I would New Fifty Two for that. Yeah, um, cause, cause I, really do, I really do like Tim Seeley's Nightwing. Really, I'm, I'm, I, I'm trying to make guesses as to things that are rebirthable, and I, because I know, I know we have a couple of runs coming to the close in the near future. Yeah, we're definitely paving the way for a lot more rebirth books coming up in the near future on the main podcast. Um, I like, I, I could say like when we finish up New Fifty Two Flash and Aquaman, that we'll probably just go straight into rebirth with that. Um, yes. I would like to definitely do Scott Snyder's uh, Justice League someday. That would be awesome. Um, the uh, Green Arrow. That, that's a that's another great rebirth run. Um, the the main two GL titles, uh, uh, the Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps, and then Green Lanterns. Those are both great titles. Um, of course, Peter J. Tomasi and Patrick Gleason's uh, Superman. That's a fantastic run despite mr oz um again mr oz was mostly an action comics thing and there, but there was a big crossover event with, between action and superman that ended the whole mr oz arc and it's 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 dumb um but anyway um it's dumb we uh but yeah if you'd like to see more rebirth uh in a week exactly one week one i was gonna say yeah when, when are we one week from when from when this comes out yeah we have uh, uh episode 76 of fresh face comics coming out which is batman rebirth deluxe edition number two plus the button which is obviously right it's gonna be a big boy it's gonna be a big boy not not just because it's a lot of issues but also because we have a guest on it and a new guest that. yeah we, um, we have a new guest who we're getting to read some tom king stuff that they actually like um, yeah, it's a, it, that is the important part. So, um, yeah. Uh, otherwise, check out other Fresh Face one-shots that we do, uh, the current stuff that we do. We do uh, Superman by Joshua Williamson, Wonder Woman by Tom King, Batman the Brave and the Bold by Various, because it's an anthology. We're also covering the summer DC event of 2024, Absolute Power, which is going a little bit into fall with September and October. Um, we also are covering the Batman miniseries Death in the Family, Robin Lives, the alternate timeline in which uh, 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 Jason Todd survived. And we also recently started our first Marvel Fresh Face one-shot with The Uncanny X-Men by Gail Simone. Uh, that, the second issue of that comes out in like a little over a week, so check that out as well. Um, had a great first um, issue. Check out. Actually, the, the, uh, when this is... Yeah, a little over a week. A little over a week. Yeah, it's coming up Jacob, in a second. Wait, Never mind. Jacob, that's why that's why I asked the schedule before we recorded this. Um anyway, uh also of course check out the main podcast, which we just talked about a little bit. And uh I uh, our socials, all our link trees and all that will be in the description below. You can check us out there wherever you want to follow us and subscribe to the channel, Blood Edit Studios. We've got a lot of fun stuff coming up in the very near and, uh, I will say yeah. thank you. I, I've noticed subscribers have been steadily increasing fairly. That recently. is true. That is absolutely true. But now um, that you said it, it's gonna stop. Um oh. 
Oh, so no. Wow. Well, um, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I think that does it. Uh, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, this has been Joey Morgan. And Jacob Licklider. And goodbye. Goodbye.